Home Goods. So here's this really amazing line of all kinds of products. And I'm going to show you why it's important to not make a scene at Home Goods and <laughs> to also muscle test. Why muscle testing is so important. So if you have, I'm going to adjust you to this. All right. So if you have, here's an almond scented bath bar, and you have no idea. <clears throat> It has Jesus and Mary on it, which makes it really holy. And it even has Jesus and the star. So you're thinking this is legit, but who knows? It smells really good, but it could be a hormone disruptor. It smells really good. It smells holy. It smells holy. So let's see if it's good for the body though. Let's see if it's an endocrine disruptor. All right, I want to be well. I want to be sick. This soap. Nope. This soap, I want to be well. This soap, I want to be sick. See, it looks holy. It smells holy. And it seems anointed. And it seems anointed, but not holy for the body. So let's see if we can find one that's good. Um, I was in here the other day. Let's look at this one. All right, this is a dusting powder. I can already tell this is bad, so let's just see it anyway. I want to be well. I want to be sick. This powder. This powder, I want to be well. This powder, I want to be sick. Nope, it's bad. Okay, so that means it's a to it has toxins in it, or it has a, it's a hormone disruptor of some kind. Yeah, do the green box. Right. Which one? The green box there with the ornaments on right here. I would keep it for oh, okay. Let's do this holiday garland scented. This doesn't have Jesus on it, so it's not as ho as holy. But let's see. I want to be well. I want to be sick. This soap. This soap. I want to be well. This soap. I want to be sick. Yay! It's good. So you can use it, and you don't have to worry about hormones disrupting. And it does smell good if you like. Just already tested it. If, did you already test it? I did. What did you get? But it was good. So she got it. It was good too. Okay. So this is um, delicately scented. And it's got rich and creamy. So even though it has all these different ingredients on it, you can't really see, that are t you would think that would be bad for the body. The body's saying, I can process anything that's in this. It's not toxic. So let's look at... The coconut thing right there. Right here? This, okay, I can already tell. I can already feel it's bad. So this is a little set. So if you were going to do a set, you have to do each one individually. Awesome. So you would do this hand soap first. So I want to be well and be sick. Mm-mm. This hand soap. This hand soap, I want to be well. This hand soap, I want to be sick. Yep, that's bad. And this is lotion. So let's do that. I want to be well. I want to be sick. This hand lotion. Oh, the hand lotion's okay. This hand lotion. This hand lotion, I want to be well. Yeah, so this hand lotion's okay, but the soap's not. So, the mandarin spice. What are we doing? The mandarin spice. The mandarin spice. Home handmade. Okay, this is handmade in Italy. We'll see if Ooh. Italians know how to actually ah. make soap here. So this has got... It looks like it's kind of an all-natural because it's handmade, so who knows what's in it. It's mandarin spice, so let's see. Yeah. Ooh, this feels good. I want to be well. I want to be sick. This soap, this soap, I want to be well. This soap, I want to be sick. Is this soap neutral for the body, beneficial to the body, detrimental to the body? So it's neutral. And it feels good. But it feels good, too. Like when you're testing, you'll be able to feel how things feel. All right, do we want to do anything else? That's gross. Any other soap or any other product? Ooh, let's do these bath fizzers. Oh, I can already feel them. They're bad. Okay. <laughs> they are bad. They're bad. These are pina colada. Exotic bath fizzers. Ew. If you like pina colada, it's time to awaken your senses. <laughs> so don't drink them, though, because you'll probably die. Wait a second. Okay, so I want to be well. I want to be sick. These bath fizzers. These bath fizzers I want to be well. These bath fizzers I want to be sick. So these are bad. So that's how you can tell if you're muscle testing your products... You can literally go through all these, sorry, got you can go through all these products here and you can test which ones are good and which ones are bad. And then if you're giving somebody a gift and it tests okay for you, it's going to test okay for them too. So, oh, here's a Dr. Bronner's. That will be definitely good. Let's see if that's good. All right. Hold this for a second, Jess. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do, I'm, I know Dr. Bronner's generally is good, so we're going to do it. Anyway, so this is the peppermint, and then this is the lavender. So let's do it. I want to be well. I want to be sick. This peppermint soap. This peppermint soap, I want to be well. This peppermint soap, I want to be sick. Okay, it's good. And this, I want to be well. I want to be sick. This lavender. This lavender, I want to be well. Yep, that's good. And a lot of times, they don't source the lavender very well. Companies won't source the lavender very well. So you can't, you can't, it's like toxic just because of the lavender. So, but Dr. Bronner's is usually safe. But it's always good to validate, you know. So you have all these different products. And you don't know which ones have hormone disruptors or not, but the testing will help you. So that's just one practical way. Anything you want to add, Jess? Nope. Jess is with me. We're shopping together. So that's a great way to 
um, tell if a product is safe or not, is to muscle test it. So check out my links below, check out my website. I do muscle testing classes, I'm gonna start in 2018 with new muscle testing classes and you'll be able to check that out. Okay, you guys have a good holiday, bye.